Today marks the start of a new series. We're calling it Tuesday's Town. Twice a month, we're going to be out at a different city in the area. We're going to spend the day talking about the location's character. We're starting in Macon. WCBI's Quinton Smith has the story. Tuesday's Town with Macon is brought to you in part by Sassy's Designs. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Center Hardware and Home Furnishings, all of the best for your home. And Mimi's, a women's clothing store in Macon. This three-storied brick building has been a unique landmark in Noxabee County for over 100 years. This building was built in 1907, and it was... Um it was as a jail till 1977. This facility was once known as the Knoxville County Jail. They incarcerated uh, bad guys and girls for 70 years. But the jailhouse closed down in 1977, and the old building became abandoned and an eyesore in the community. That is, until a group of concerned residents decided to renovate the building. A group of citizens got together, including Miss Beth Kuster. They all got together, and they... For, they saw this building and it was no longer being used, so they wanted to get this building. And once they got the building, they thought it would be a good idea to turn it into a library, so they raised enough funds to do just that. In 1982, they began renovating the building, and 1984 is when they finally... Open, it, Open up. it up. And more than 20 years later, the library is still standing tall and has become a safe haven for kids in the community to come out and enjoy story time. Boom! Crash! Growl! It's not me! We love it, and like I say, they come in and they read. they they fascinated by the... The setup. The library has also become one of the main attractions for tourists who visit the area. And the main part is the second floor. This is where we have the islet and the, you know, the 13 steps that you would have to climb. And we have the second floor. Here we have the um, incarceration room. And as the library continues to be a cornerstone in Knoxville County, the community wants to continue to honor and remember the history of this three-story brick building. In Knoxville County, Quentin Smith, WCBI News. Tuesday's Town with Macon was brought to you in part by Macon Septic Systems. Where will you go for safety? And the City Drugstore, the pharmacy with the highest service, safest products, and friendliest staff in Macon.